In this video, we'll be doing percent and proportion word problems. The first problem that we'll be doing is 90% of the party guests brought food. If 26 guests did not bring food, what was the total number of guests at the party? Now, one way to approach this problem is to set up proportions. So that's what I'm going to do. 90% of the party guests brought food. This percent indicates out of 100. So 90 out of 100 brought food. That's just a ratio, but let me write that. So we have the number that brought food was 90, and the total out of 100. So this is what percent means. 90% means 90 out of 100. So we have 90 guests brought food out of a total of 100. And we can infer from that information that the number that did not bring food would be 10. Now these are our percent numbers. All right, then we go on to see that 26 guests. Now, this is an actual number of guests. 26 guests did not bring food. So for the actual number, we can see that 26 is used with the 10 that did not. So 26 did not bring food. And we're asked to find the total number of guests at the party. So we're asked to find this actual number. So we can use these four numbers in a proportion to solve this problem. We have 10 is to 100 as 26 is to x. Now we know when we have a proportion that the product of the extremes is equal to the product of the means. So I can uh, multiply my extremes uh, and get 10x. And that has to equal the product of the means, which will be 2600. I'm solving this equation, divide both sides by 10. And we get x is equal to 260. So that means then that we had 260 total guests. Let's do another problem. The ratio of swimmers to non-swimmers at camp is 18 to 6. If the total people at camp is 192, how many are swimmers? Now again, let's go ahead and set up proportions. Our ratio numbers, um, swimmers to non-swimmers, is 18 to 6. So swimmers... We have 18 swimmers for every six non-swimmers. Now we can see then that in this little group of campers that there's a total of 24. So these are our ratio numbers. And then to solve the problem, we need to find actual numbers. Um, we're told that the total number of people at camp is 192. So this 192 is going to be in my proportion corresponding to the 24. So 192 actual campers is my total. My question is, how many are swimmers? So 
So I want to find the actual number of swimmers. We'll use these four numbers in a proportion. So I have 18 is to 24 as x is to 192. Again, we're going to find cross products. This is 24x. And then 18 times 192 is 3,456. Divide both sides by 24. These will cancel, and we have 144 swimmers.